Hello guys, it's been a long time since I've actually uploaded a video. So today's video is a question that was asked by my friend on how to solve this question based on the topic of binomial expansion. I know many of you guys have this concept coming up for exam, so hopefully this video has helped you guys to understand this concept much more better. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. And um, yeah, let's start with the video. All right, so binomial expansion. The main thing that you need to... Uh, recall about binomial expansion is that the formula is given to you in your formula sheet so what you need to do is you just need to look at the formula that's given in your formula sheet based on the concept of binomial expansion so the formula that's in the red box now this is the formula for the binomial expansion so i'm just going to be going through this is that we're going to be looking at the formula for the binomial expansion so we can see that there are some exclamation mark now this exclamation mark here it just means that this is a factorial. So that's all you need to r remember about binomial expansion parts related to the exclamation mark. So now how do you put the exclamation mark in your calculator? All you need to do is just switch on your calculator and hit that shift button. Once you do that, you're gonna hit the, you're gonna press shift and then you're gonna press something, a button that looks like an X raised to the power of negative one. You're gonna click on that and that should give you an exclamation mark which you guys can use when putting up your values into your calculator. So that's the one thing that you have to recall about binomial expansions. Just look at the formula in the formula sheet and that should help you out. And the arithmetic sequence formula, we're gonna get into that part afterwards. So now question three, we can see that there's a function and there's a function of x and we know that where k is a non-zero constant. So this means that k should not be anything that is not zero. Okay, and question 3a just asks you to find out the first four terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of f of x and give each term in simplest form. So now here they're asking you to solve the question up to max of four terms only. Okay, so this is how we're going to be solving it. We're going to be looking at the equation or the, we're going to be looking at the formula that is given to us. And what I would like to do is I would like to write down the function first. Then I would like to list out all the terms that we have here or all the variables in this case. So we know that A is equivalent to 2, B is Kx divided by 8, and N is 7 terms in total. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to substitute all these values into the formula that is given to us in the formula sheet. That's all we have done here. And we know the steps of how we convert those brackets or those values in the brackets in terms of N factorial. So this is the steps and we're just following, or we're just actually we're just looking at what the equation tells right so just follow the steps that's more than enough so you're going to put it in brackets and then you're going to convert it into factorial form once you do that you should be rearranging it. now the thing about binomial expansion is that when you when you input values into this equation you need to be really careful on how you do this and then what i'm going to do is we're going to put a plus a positive dot 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 sign now this just means the continuity of the sequence in this case since we're finding it maximum up to a uh, four terms since we know that the total is up to seven in the question here so we're just finding out the um, first four terms in this case so we're just going to put the positive dot 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 sign just to show the continuity so we should get the answer as 128 plus 56 56 kx plus 21 over 2 k square x square plus 35 by 32 k cube x cube plus dot 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 okay once you do that that should be your final answer now question b is a bit interesting actually so now question b is that given that in the binomial expansion of f of x the coefficients of x x square and x cubed are the first three terms of an arithmetic progression find using algebra the possible values of k so now since we know that this is the first three terms the coefficients of x x square and x cubed are the first three terms of an arithmetic progression now an arithmetic progression it just means that this is an arithmetic sequence the coefficient follows the arithmetic sequence technique so it's an arithmetic sequence technique and just to recall we know that the arithmetic sequence formula is un which just represents the n term is equivalent to a which is the first term plus n minus one where n is the n term and d is the common difference okay so now this part of d is very important that this is the common difference that we have to use here so what i would like to do is i would like to write down the equation or the answer that we have found to part a 
And we're going to be looking at the coefficients of x, x squared, and x cubed. So since we know the coefficients of x here, we don't look at 128, just leave that part. We're just going to be looking at the coefficients of x, x squared, and x cubed. So we know that the coefficient of x is 56k. The coefficients of x squared is 21 by 2k squared. And the coefficients for x cubed is going to be 35 by 32k cubed. Now these are the coefficients that you're going to put here at the bottom here or at the top there. I'm going to put it at the top, and you're going to write that down, all the coefficients of the variables of x, x, x squared, and x cubed. Okay, you're going to write this down in terms of arithmetic sequence. So now, since we know that this is an arithmetic sequence, right, it uses that technique of the arithmetic sequence, we're going to be finding out the common difference of each term, and we're going to equate it into an equation so we can easily find the possible values of k. How we're going to do that is, first of all, we're going to find out the common difference. Now, listen carefully. We're going to find out the common difference between the second term and the first term. So what I mean by that is 21 by 2k squared minus 56k. So this is the common difference between the second term and the first term. And we're going to equate it. We're going to put an equal sign. And we, then we're going to find out the common difference between the third term and the second term, which is 35 by 32k cubed minus 21 by 2k squared. Now, this should be giving you a good form, oh, a good equation, not a good form, actually. It should be giving you a good formula in this case, um, a good function or a good formula in this case for you guys to solve. It's a good formula to solve in this case. Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're gonna, it's gonna give us a good formula. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just be solving this. So we're just gonna equate everything in terms of each other. So you have 21 by 2k squared plus 21 by 2k squared is equal to 35 by 32k cubed plus 56k. Once you do that, since we know that we can add up these values together, so I'm just gonna put this in my calculator. So in this case, we have 21 by 2, 21 by 2 plus 21, <coughs> 21 by 2 again. So it should give you 21, 21k squared. It's like how you have a plus a. It's just equivalent to 2a in this case. So yeah, so you're just going to add up the var variables here in this case. So 21k squared is equivalent to 35k cubed plus 56. We're going to cross multiply this. So 56 times um, 32 is going to give you a value of 1,792. K okay. divided by 3. 3 is going to multiply, uh, sorry, divided by 32, sorry. Sorry about that. So you have 21K squared times 32. It should give you 35K, 35K K raised to power cubed. So uh, 1,792 K. You're going to rearrange it. Be really careful with rearranging it. So 21 times 32, which should give you 672. K square is equivalent to 35K cubed plus 1,792. K. Now um, you're going to equate this negative 35K cubed plus 672K square minus, uh, minus 1,792K is equivalent to zero. You're just going to multiply all these values by negative one. This should give you 35k cubed plus, uh, sorry, it's going to be negative in this case. So it's going to become negative 672k squared plus 1792k is equal to zero. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to solve this in terms of cubic equations to get the possible values for k since we know that the first thing is 35, second part is 672, yeah. And the other part is 1,792. We're just going to put this in a, into our calculator. And you should be getting some possible values. So the first value for k you're going to get is 16. The other possible value for k you're going to get is 16 by 5. And the other possible values for k you're going to get 0. So since this is a cubic, since this is a cubic equation, you're going to get 16, 16 by 5, 0, so you're going to get, yeah, 16, yeah, you're going to get 16 in this case for the first value, and um, once you do that, we have to look at what the question has asked us. We have found out the possible values for k, however, k is a non-zero constant, so you have to leave out 
you have to leave the value of zero in this case. You're going to cross that out. Yeah. And you're going to take 16 and 16 by 5. These are going to be your values for k. So you know that k is going to be 16 comma 16 by 5. Or you can mention, you can mention in terms of like this, you can just show them that k1 is going to 16 and k2 is going to 16 by 5. This should be your possible values for k in this case. You know, or you can just do 16 comma 16 by 5, that should be okay as well. Just do specify that you found out the values. Okay, and these are numbers that are not zero. So you have to leave out the value of zero and put these numbers 16 and 16 by 5. Okay, this seems to be about the end of the question. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. And do comment below on what your thoughts are about this video. And do check out the other videos. And um, yeah, I think that's it. All right, bye guys.